Lola has a little growth. Lola, how are you doing, sweetie? Are those sad eyes? You just licked us and everything, and you just here you are in the veterinary hospital, and you're thinking, what is he going to do to me? But if you look at Lola's foot, Lola has a bump right there. And that raised bump gets a little crusty, starting to bleed a little bit. It could be a histiocytoma or a mast cell tumor, and we're going to scrape it to see what it is. Round raised bumps in young dogs are often called histiocytomas or button tumors. And the reason why they're called button tumors is because they're really round and raised, just like a button would be. But they can also look very red and raw, like this picture, and can they could be other tumors, so it's important to know which they are. Just like this mast cell tumor in this dog, it's a very dangerous tumor. It kind of looks like a button tumor, and a button tumor that's maybe a little bit more distorted. It's important to know what kind of cells the tumor consists of, so we know if it's a dangerous one, like a mast cell tumor, or just a common one that's benign and will slowly go away, which is like a round cell tumor, like these little cells we see here. So how do we get those? So we take a blade and we scrape it to freshen it up. What that means by that is we get, we make it bleed a little bit and get the crust off so we can see what kind of cells it has. So now we're going to put a slide on here and we're going to poke press it down and get the cells on there. Oh, that's great. When that slide is stained, you can see the round cells with the round nucleuses, and like in this picture. They're cappy, round, not angry cells, and that usually corresponds to what we call button tumor or histiocytoma, whether it's red and raised or brown and raised. Now, if you were to scrape the mast cell tumor in this dog and stain those cells, you would see angry granular cells like this. Now, that tumor would have to be immediately treated by taking out as much as we can, and they may even have to go to a cancer specialist. So that's the importance of checking out the cells on a tumor. Any tumor can look like something and be something else so it's important for your veterinarian to check it out but if your young dog has a really round raised lump like that it's most likely a button tumor or histiocytoma but don't forget the mast cell tumors are great imitators and can look like anything so if you get a chance go to dog dish diet and check it out had a dog, uh, Tessa, today that came in, and hers had been bothering her for years, and the owners were kind of reluctant to home cook, as many people are. They think it takes a long time. But actually, once they started to home cook, her ears cleared up and looked the best they have looked in maybe five years. And now they don't need any more medication, and they don't need to spend money at the veterinarian. And I think they're glad and happy about that. A few more minutes a week home cooking is a lot better than spending hundreds of dollars and having a dog that doesn't feel good all the time. So have a great day.